Bartlett dispatched a 590. It's time for story time with a cop. You better find those kids and report to the studio. They're waiting for today's story. Police Department today I'm gonna to read to you Oh Say Can You Say by Dr. Seuss. <laughs> Said a book reading parrot named Huey, the words in this book are all phony. When you say them your lips will make you will make slips and backflips and your tongue may end up in St. Louis. Do you like fresh fish? It's just fine at Finney's Diner. Finney also has some fresher fish that's fresher and much finer. But his best fish in his freshest fish at Finney says with pride, the finest fish at F Finney's is my freshest fish, French fried. So don't order the fresh or the fresher fish at Finney's if you're wise. You'll say, fetch me the finest French fried freshest fish at Finney's fries. We have a dinosaur named Den. Den's thin. Den doesn't have much skin and the bones fall out of his left front shin. Then we have to call in Penner Blinn, who comes with his handy shin pin bin and with a thin blend shin bone pin, Blinn pins Den's shin bones right back in. Bed spreaders spread spreads on beds. Bed spreaders spread butters on breads. And that bed spreader better watch out how he's spreading or the bread spreaders sure going to butter his bedding. As he gobbled the cakes on his plate, the greedy ape said as he ate, the greener green grapes are the keener keen apes are to gobble green grapes cakes. They're great. Are you having trouble in saying this stuff? It's really quite easy for me. I just look in a mirror and say what I say, and then I just say what I see. Now let's talk about money. You should leave your grocks home when you travel by air. If you take him along, they charge you double the fare. And your grocks must be packed and locked in a grocks box, which costs much, much more than a little old fox box. So it's Heaps a lot cheaper to fly with your foxes than waste all your money on boxes for groxes. And what do you think costs more, a simple thimble or a single shingle? A simple thimble costs less than a single shingle would, I guess. So I think that the single shingle should cost more than the simple thimble would. Eat at Skipper Zips. If you like to eat potato chips and chew pork chops on clipper ships, I suggest that you chew a few chips and chop at Skipper Zips Clipper Ship Chip Chop Shop. And if your tongue is getting queasy, don't give up. The next one is easy. There are so many things that you really should know, and that's why I'm bothering telling you so. You should know that the first names of the Fudnuddler brothers who like to pile on the heads of the others. If you start at the top, their names are Bipper and Bud and Skipper and Jipper and Jeffrey and Judd, Horatio, Jorge, and Hendrix and Hud, and then comes Dinwoody and Diddy and Dud, also Fitzsimmons and Frederick and Fudd, and Slinky and Stinky and Stuart and Stud, and down at the bottom is poor little Lud. But if Lud ever sneezes, his name will be Mud. <laughs> Quack, quack. 
we have two ducks, one blue and one black. And when our blue duck goes quack quack, our black duck quickly quacks back. The quack blue quacks make her quite a quacker, but black is quicker quacker backer. And speaking of quacks, reminds me of cracks and stacks and sacks and shacks and shanacks. So, oh, can you say, I have cracks in my shack, I have smoke in my stack, and if I think there's a snack in the sack of my back. West Beast, East Beast. Upon an island hard to reach, the East Beast sits upon his beach. Upon the West Beach sits the West Beast. Each beach beast thinks he's the best beast. Which beast is best? Well, I thought at first that the East was the best and the West was the worst. Then I looked again from the west to the east, and I like the beast on the east beast least. Pete Briggs, Pat's Pigs. Briggs, Pat's Pink Pigs. Briggs, Pat's Big Pigs. Don't ask me why, it doesn't matter. Pete Briggs is a pink pig, big pig patter. Pete Briggs, Pat's his big pink pigs all day. Don't ask me why, I cannot say. Then Pete puts his padded pigs away in his Pete Briggs, Pink Pigs, Big Pigs, Pig Pen. Fritz needs Fred and Fred needs Fritz. Fritz, ne Fritz feeds Fred and Fred feeds Fritz. Fred feeds Fritz with Ritzy Fred food. Fitz feeds Fred with Ritzy Fritz food. And Fritz, when fed, has often said, I'm a Fred-fed Fritz. Fred's a Fritz-fed Fred. How to tell a clots from a glots. Well, the glots, you will notice, has lots of black spots. And the clots is quite different with lots of black dots. The big problem is that the spots on the glots are about the same size as the dots on the glots. So the first... So first, you have to spot who the one with the dots is. Then it's easy to tell who the glots or the glots is. What would you rather be when you grow up? A cop in a cop's hat, or a cupcake cook in a cupcake cook's hat, or a flap or a fat flapjack flapper in a flat flapjack cap? Or if you think you don't like cops, caps, flapjack flappers, or cupcake cooks, caps, maybe you're one of those choosy chaps who likes cookie captain's caps, perhaps. Well, when Blinn comes home tired from his work pinning shins, the happier hour of Blinn's day begins. Mr. Blinn is the father of musical twins who, tucking twin instruments under twin chins, lull their daddy to sleep with chin blend violins. And oh, say can you say, far away in Berlin, a musical urchin named Gretchen von Schwinn has a blue-footed, true-footed, trick-fingered, slick-fingered, six-fingered, six-stringed twin Schwinn mandolin. If you hope to wash soup from a rope, simply scrub it with scrope. Scrope is so strong that no rope is too long. But if you should wish to wash soup from a hoop, I suggest that it's best to let your whole silly soup up hoop soak in soapy cooper super soap off hoop soap suds. One year we had a Christmas brunch with Merry Christmas mush too much. I don't think you'd care for such. We didn't like the munch mush much. Yuck! And speaking of Christmas, here are some great gifts to give your daddy. If your daddy's name is Jim, and if Jim swims, and if Jim's slim, the perfect Christmas gift for him is a set of Slim Jim Swim Fins. And if your daddy's name is Dwight, and he likes to look at birds at night, 
the gift for Dwight might be right if a bright Dwight bird flight night sight light. But never give your daddy a walrus. A walrus with whiskers is not a good pet, and a walrus which whispers is even worse yet. When a walrus's lips whisper through tough, rough, wet whiskers, your poor daddy's ear will get blispers and bliskers. And that's almost enough of such stuff for one day. One more and you're finished. Oh, say, can you say? The storm starts when the drops start dropping. The drops start dropping when the storm starts stopping. I enjoyed reading to y'all today. Please be safe.